Alright guys, sa mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat, nandito na naman ang ating road trip reaction video dito sa National Heroes Day. Karangalang katungkulan, kabayanihan, ginugunita ngayon sa libingan ng mga bayani dito sa tagig ni ating President Bongbong Marcos. At panoorin po natin at tunghayan ang ating President Bongbong Marcos. At maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Don't forget to subscribe this channel, Rob Trip. Alright. Ayan, live na live po tayo by RTVM. At ito na nga, parating na ang ating President Bongbong Marcos. Aming ipinababatid ang pagdating ng ating panahing pandangal, ang kagalang-galang Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas at pangkalahatang puno ng sanatahang lakas ng Pilipinas. I would like to request everyone to please all stand. Alright, happy holidays sa inyong lahat. National Year's Day. Dito sa RTBM Live via satellite Isasagawa po ang marangal na pagdating ng panahing pandangal Tanda, dala, kalis Punan, mga pinuno at kawal, tanghal! Mahala Pangulo, handa na po ang tanod panangal o panglibutin. Alright, live na live by uh, kay Car Rob Trip dito sa Bayani ng Libingan sa Taguig City. At ngayong araw po,
संभाल था कल्पना तहाल ता कल्पना बाबा ता अंडा डला थालिस बाबा ता माला पंगोलो तपोस तपो अंग परंगल Yes, sir. Mga kasama, pinapabot ng ating mahal na Pangulo, kagalang-galang, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., ang kanyang taos-pusong pasasalamat sa ginawan nating parangal sa kanya sa umagang ito. Baba, kalis. Mga kababayan, ang Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Alright, tapos na nga pagtatanghal dito kay ating President Bongbong Marcos Jr. Alright, and dito na tayo at uh, mag-advance na tayo. The future of the Philippines should stand as guiding examples for all of us despite of our backgrounds. Even in the light of the differences that set us apart, let us endeavor to cultivate a sense of unity deeply rooted in love. Love that take on responsibilities. Love that thrives in the face of challenges. And love that serves with wholehearted dedication, humility, and compassion. Let us take inspiration from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8, which says, Above all, have fervent and unfailing love for one another, because love covers a multitude of sins. In our own ways, may we be part of a greater aspiration, the growth of a nation filled with honor, value for duty, and recognition for heroism. On behalf of the city of Taguig, we extend our heartfelt greetings for a meaningful Philippine National Heroes Day. Mabuhay, and may God bless us all. Thank you. Marami pong salamat sa punong lungsod, Maria Laarni Lopez Cayetano. Atin naman pong bigyang daan ang mensahe mula sa tagapangulo Emmanuel Franco Calairo ng Pambansang Komisyong Pangkasaysayan ng Pilipinas. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Throughout the history of this nation, we have on occasion set aside specific days to commemorate certain personages honoring their deeds and their sacrifice that contributed to the peace and development of our country today. This particular holiday, which dates back to 1921, the time when we were under the United States, was created by a predominantly Filipino legislature so that we could commemorate a host of anonymous and non-Filipinos who have immensely contributed to our nationhood, even as we were then under a foreign power. That is why we commemorate this day in front of the tomb of a known soldier, the name of the fallen soldier matters not. We cannot see the seed buried under the ground, but we can see the tree that has sprung above it, our beloved nation, Patria Adorada, thriving and free. 
The National Historical Commission of the Philippines reiterates that Filipinos today enjoy their rights and freedom because of the heroism that our forefathers did in the past. It necessitated a revolution in order that the Bill of Rights would be imprinted in the Philippine fundamental law. This is why NHCP has launched various commemorative activities to honor our heroes. We honor Dr. Jose Rizal, a cosmopolitan Filipino who was recognized on the global scale. In 2017, the NHCP launched its 75th anniversary of um, honoring our um, veterans in Bataan. In 2021, NHCP celebrated the National Quincentennial Commemorations, focusing on Lapu-Lapu, the first Filipino who resisted European aggression. This year, we started the 125th anniversary of Philippine independence and nationhood to pay homage to the formation of the first Philippine Republic. Next year, NHCP will lead the nation in commemorating the 650th anniversary of Philippine Muslim history and heritage that will culminate in 2030. In this commemoration, we will recognize unsung Muslim heroes. Sites and structures with historical significance will be marked. We are envisioning that by the end of 2030, an inclusive narrative of Philippine history will be written, highlighting the role of Muslims in the development of Filipino identity. NSCP is already in close coordination with BARM, the municipalities of Simonul and Sibutu in Tawi-Tawi, and also with DBM Secretary Mina Pakandaman, our Muslim leader in the cabinet, who partnered with NSCP in the conceptualization and implementation of this commemoration. Mr. President, all these commemorations will strengthen peace, unity, and development in our country. This will also promote appreciation of the noble deeds of Filipinos in the past that will serve as a pillar in achieving your vision of bagong Pilipinas. Tulad ng palagi kong sinasabi, ang kamalayan sa kasaysayan ang susi sa pagkakaisa at kaunlaran. Mabuhay po ang kabayanihan ng bawat Pilipino. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Maraming salamat po. All right, mabuhay ang katipunan. Maraming pong salamat sa tagapangulo Emmanuel Franco Calairo. At this point, the guest of honor will be introduced by Executive Secretary Lucas P. Bersamin. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Uh, thank you, uh, Secretary Lutherman. Uh, please, uh, please take your seats. Uh, joining us today is the House Speaker, Speaker uh, Martin uh, Romualdez. Uh, the Excellencies of the Diplomatic Corps, uh, headed by the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Archbishop Charles John Brown III, National Defense Secretary, Secretary Gilbert Tudoro Jr., and other members of the Cabinet here today, the National Historical Commission of the Philippines Chair, Chairman Emmanuel Calairo, the Armed Forces of the Philippines Chief of Staff, General Romeo Browner Jr., and the commanders of the other major services, Taguig City Mayor Maria Larni Cayetano, my fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good morning. We commemorate today National Heroes Day. And as we do so, let us collectively recall the heroic deeds of those who have fought for our honor and our dignity as a blossoming nation throughout the centuries. From the warriors of old, revolutionary fighters, visionary thinkers, war veterans, and the countless patriots who have helped shaped our country into what it is and what we are today, free, independent, and self-determined. To them, we are eternally grateful. May the stories of their courage and wisdom continue to be told and imparted to our youth, that they might be inspired and to strengthen their identity and cohesion of, the, of our nation for not today alone, but for centuries to come. In our journey forward as a nation, we must break free from the notion that heroes are only those who have earned a place in the national pantheon. 
immortalized in monuments or those whose names are inscribed in streets or whose lives are chronicled in biographies. Like the unknown soldier buried in this hallowed ground, unnamed and unheralded heroes too deserve to her due recognition. While the memories of our heroes of storied past will never fade, new ones continue to emerge. They are here amongst us in the daily bustle of modern day society, in our communities, in our own families and inner circles, in their own ways, more often than not in less dramatic, less tragic circumstances. Their selfless deeds and sacrifices have the same ability to inspire and to create a possible ripple effect in society. It can be said that most heroes are ordinary men and women, but which faced with the challenges of life, change, faced with the challenges to their lives, to their country, to their families, to their community, and to their beliefs, it is them who rise up and we show us the act of hero heroism that is extraordinary. All of us can be heroes, one way or another. We unleash the hero in us when we act genuinely for the good of another, impelled by causes and motives greater, more noble than mere personal interest or vainglory. Heroism is not only to be found in the grand battles and struggles, it also resides in the simplest acts of kindness, of empathy, solidarity that not only move hearts, but also influence minds and actions and change lives for the better. We need the unfading memories and shining examples of our heroes, not only to continually remind us of the noble causes that have led them to their heroic deeds, we also draw inspiration from them for our self-improvement and to possibly develop our own heroic potential. So let us always tell the tales of the heroic deeds of our Kababayans, whether they are in the country or they are in the country or in outside in the rest of the world. The tale might be the electric lineman from Bacolod City, braving the typhoon of Eg the typhoon Egai floods and risking his life to repair broken electrical wires to avert the, da the greater danger to the neighborhood. It may be the Filipino farmer who prevailed over harsh weather and economic conditions to ensure a successful harvest that he might feed his countrymen. What to him was mere personal triumph was a crucial fragment of a greater accomplishment, a high level of production for, of food, which contributes to our goal of food sufficiency for our people, a grand and as noble a aspiration as could be had. There is also, of course, the Filipino teacher, who in spite of a meager pay, strives not only to be a good educator to our youth, but a patient and persevering Persevering servant of government and of the people in many various activities outside of their strict job description. Elsewhere in the world, there is a story of Filipino teachers who lent a hand to an elderly neighbor in need during these terrible wildfires that we are witnessing. We can never disregard the countless tales of our workforce who have bounced back from the agonizing challenges of the pandemic to drive our nation's ongoing economic recovery. These include, of course, our overseas Filipino workers whose remittances form a strong pillar of our country's economy. We have, we must mention, a uh, dear and departed friend who we can only describe as well as a hero. And that is our good friend who we just lost, Secretary Tuts Ople. And she is a perfect example of what true heroism can be. But she tirelessly dedicated the better part of her life to promote the welfare of our modern, he modern day heroes. Let not our recognition just be a vacuous expression of consolation for noble efforts. We must give a genuine appreciation and a promise for all of us to do better, to emulate those heroes who we so admire and so honor.
We shall not take their heroism for granted. We will not spare ourselves of the moral duty to perpetuate the ideals that they have fought for and to rectify the unsafe, inequitable, or exceptionally difficult conditions that necessitated their selfless needs. Following, fa failing in our duty, their sacrifices would have been all in vain. Collectively, their heroic acts, small or large, go a long way and make our country and the world a better place. To them, we once again earnestly dedicate this special day. Mabuhay ang ating mga bayani, mabuhay ang kabayanihan ng puso na nasa puso ng bawat Pilipino. Maraming salamat po at magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Alright, yan. Napakinggan natin ang ating uh, President uh, Bongbong Marcos dito sa Libingan ng Bayani. Ginugunita ngayon ang National Heroes Day. At uh, mabuhay ang uh, Pilipinas, ang ating uh, katipunan. At uh, sa bagong uh, Pilipinas, maraming salamat. And don't forget to subscribe, Rob Trip, MPs out!